Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, this is Hunter Collector here with another um, Deadpool uh, X Force Strong Guy Wave review. This is Maverick. He comes with Strong Guy's arm. Um, so here's the front. Here's the side art. Here's the back. If you want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's Maverick. Here's the characters in these, this wave. Blue, uh, Blue Deadpool. Um, Black Tom. Uh, Shikla. Uh, Maverick. Uh, Sunspot. Warpath. And Pirate Deadpool. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. And then the top with the Marvel logo. But besides that, let's crack this thing open. And then here's Maverick out of the packaging. He comes with some accessories. He looks really cool, by the way. There's some cool things about him, actually. So he comes with this uh, SMG. Looks really cool. All gray. Uh, but I like the look of it with these magazines. Too detached right there. It's really cool. Just very... But you want to be careful with them. You don't want to mess with these really that much. I really just have them hold them and stuff like that. So there's one of his blasters. And then here's the other one. Looks really cool. Metallic red. Metallic gray. Uh, there's a little bit of marbling in there, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit. Not a whole lot. Nothing bad, though. Really cool. And then here's Maverick up close. So here's the face. He has this cool helmet. Nice wavy hair coming out of there like that. Kind of reminds me of like the Star Lord helmet. Nice yellow and black going on throughout the helmet. I wish they could have done a little more detailing though. A little bit cool. Red eyes. He comes with this gas mask. This also could have been used uh, have some more detail like a little bit of black right there. Maybe some red right on top. That would have been a little bit cool. I wonder if you can get him to keep it keep him like keep it on him maybe i'm pretty sure it's just there for decoration big uh you gotta kind of like work with it a little bit let's see eee, come on i got him to do it at one point there we go yeah it looks a little weird but you gotta work with it a little bit if you want to do that and then he comes with these wires in the back like that. It's pretty cool. Connected to his head. That's awesome. And then, yeah. Cool little details. Could I mean, it could have little, been a little more paint around, though. And then, nice little belt going on here. Gray robotic app right there. Same thing for the biceps. Black detailing around this gauntlet. And the brown little satchel thingy right there. Where does it go? Oh, yeah, it goes right here. And then these little holsters for his blasters here. Well, not this. You can't do anything with this one. But this one, you can keep one of his blasters in. Um, then throughout the legs, he has brown pants, some like belt belt thing going around his crotch and that across his ass crack um and then metallic ro like robotic looking legs just metallic gray it's really cool nice detailing yeah really cool figure uh let's go over his articulation so his head can move down that far up that far you could take this off if it kind of gets annoying i'm not going to though you get him to look left i meant yeah left right a little bit of head pivoting in there 
You get his arms to move out a little past, like almost at 90 degrees actually. 360 rotation, a little clicky. Um, bicep swivel, but it's not like an actual bicep. It's kind of like, it's like flat, kind of unlike other ones. He has double joints and elbows. Uh, and this one, they didn't do so. Maybe I can, no, it's almost at 90 degrees. Um, his wrists can hinge. I think it's only side, I believe. I think, yeah, it's side to side. Uh, you can, there we go. You can get him to go that way, that far. And then the other way, I think this is a little less. I mean, like almost not much. And then he has a ball joint on the top now, not an ab crunch. So yeah, it doesn't have that. So it's just a diaphragm joint. So you can get him to go side that much, the other side that much, forward, like just very little. And then like, like little to none right there. And then back, like just same thing. So not really a good ab crunch, but you're gonna have him, have him straight anyways, because I guess he's like a robot, I guess. You can get him to, oh wait, kick out, actually really far to the side. You get him to kick forward really far in front. And then backwards, eh, just, it's okay. And then he has a thigh cut. He has stumble joints to the elbow, I mean elbows, knees, sorry. And then he has a boot cut there. His ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and then he has ankle pivot. Uh, if I can get him to pivot. There we go. There we go. He's pivoting. So this is a really cool sick figure, but some ab crunch problems is the problem. I mean, the ab crunch is the problem, really. And just, they, if they, if they could add a little bit more painting into it a little bit, like around the back for sure. And then maybe they could have made like the wires black instead of yellow to give it more like uh believable look i guess maybe some more detailing around the lines to make a pop but eh, it's okay and then the gun like the blasters i think they could add a little more detailing than just having them gray so um uh, but he is a really cool figure he looks cool they just could add a few more things to make him even cooler and then added some like very uh subtle cool things to it so I highly recommend getting them. It's really cool. Um, but that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is BadBuke767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he yeah like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.